Hey everyone, and welcome to story time. Today, Orange and I are telling the story of 101 Dalmatians. I think it'll really hit the spot. <laughs> uh. Aw, don't be like that. Dog puns are possum, and you know it. <laughs> are you done? Possibly. <laughs> uh. Well, if Orange doesn't have any more awful jokes prepared. Nope, only pawful jokes. <laughs> no. Let's start the story, shall we? Once upon a time, a Dalmatian named Missy's gave birth to a huge litter of puppies and... Wait, what's going on? I think our animator quit. He quit? Guess all those puppies were too much doggone work. <laughs> yeah, come to think of it, I guess this story is really hard to animate. Well, what are we gonna do? Story time episodes depend on him. Are we gonna have to cancel today's episode? Relax, Pear. When you've had your own Cartoon Network show, you pick up a thing or two about animation. Wait, you're saying you can animate today's episode yourself? I'll have to cut some corners, but I hate corners anyways. I am a circle after all. <laughs> okay, do what you gotta do. Even if it's not perfect, it's better than nothing. Possum to hear. Let's keep this doggy rolling. <laughs> okay, as I was saying, once upon a time, a Dalmatian gave birth to a huge litter of puppies. Yeah, but instead of being a bunch of separate dogs, they fused into one giant puppy the size of 101 puppies put together. Also, the mega puppy sort of looked like a horse, because dogs are really hard to draw when you have no hands. <laughs> uh, I assume these are the sorts of corners that will have to be cut? You get what you pay for, Pear, and I'm free as a bird. <laughs> All right, anyway, Days later, Mrs. went out for a walk with her owner and they... Maybe instead of going on a walk, they could go on a hop. A what? A hop. See, it's a lot easier for them to hop around without moving their legs. Also, could the human owner lady be a dancing baby instead? A dancing baby? Why? Well, the software comes with a dancing baby preloaded. So, oh baby, would it save me a lot of work. <laughs> Fine, whatever. So apparently our main character is now hopping through a park with a dancing baby. Heck yeah, she is. Ooga chaka, ooga chaka. <laughs> Look at his little feet. Anyway, as they were hopping or dancing or whatever the heck it is they were doing, they ran into Cruella DeVille, who was wealthy, very fashion conscious, and was also a cube. A cube? Hey, but it's an evil cube who didn't talk or move or do anything difficult to animate. Orange! Okay, okay, fine. She hopped around a little sometimes. Look at her go. <laughs> we get to call her Cuberella DeVille though, okay? Orange, if you couldn't animate this stuff, then why did you volunteer? Pear, the show must go on. We can't deny our audience the classic tale of 101 Dalmatians. We gotta tell them how a horse looking mega puppy thwarted an evil fashionista cube. Doesn't sound like a story anybody needs to hear, if you ask me. Just wait, it gets better than you could possibly imagine. <laughs> ah. See, Cubella DeVille kidnapped the mega puppy. She hopped all the way across town with it. Meanwhile, Mrs. Owner was useless because dancing babies can't really do much. So it was up to Mrs. to save her mega puppy. Not that mega puppy needed any help, because how hard is it to defeat a cube, you know? When you really think about it, a cube makes for a pretty awful villain. I know. That's why I wanted Cruella DeVille to be a human. Hmm. Let me see what other preset characters I have lying around. Oh, how about we make Cruella DeVille a dancing baby? Would that be better? No. You sure? It's super easy to copy paste a bunch of times. Oh, what do you think of this title? 101 Dancing Babies. No. You want more? I can do more. Super easy. Copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. Orange, even one dancing baby in this story is too many. Uh oh, then I got bad news. I can't stop them. They've grown too powerful. The dancing babies are multiplying at an exponential rate. My computer can't take it. Do not let that computer blow up, Orange. I'm warning you. Okay. Hey, there's one last chance. I'm gonna try and fuse all the dancing babies into one mega dancing baby. I don't care what you have to do. Just do it. It's, it's working. Look at the size of that thing. Wow. Imagine having to change that diaper. <laughs> ah, well, Orange, as always, you've completely derailed story time and our audience has learned nothing. We'll see you next time, assuming there is a next time. Ah, come on, Pear. You're just being a big baby. <laughs> oh.